Um, hello, everybody. I welcome you all uh, in this video where we are going to discuss a trick to remember the rheogram. A rheogram is essentially a diagram that contains uh, uh, all the curves for different types of fluid. Uh, it may be Newtonian or no non-Newtonian type of fluid. Uh, so I personally used to struggle a lot in remembering the sequence of uh, uh, the curves in the diagram and like which is which, which curve represents which type of fluid. So I came up with a mnemonic or a trick, as you may call it, uh, to remember this sequence. Like, right? so, uh, like you may wonder, like, why is it important to uh, remember this? It's because direct questions come in gate from uh, this particular topic, as you can see in uh, XC twenty twenty paper in fluid mechanics. Uh, this question gate it asks the variation of shear stress or mu against the strain rate, which is du by dy, and is given in the figure. The, they have asked us to identify the line on the curve among P, Q, R, and S that represents an ideal fluid. So in order to uh, understand what is an ideal fluid and what are Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluid, I, uh, you'll need to look at the lectures that describe rheology of fluids. As of now, we are just going to uh, learn how to answer this question or how to remember the rheogram. So this is what a rheogram looks like. Here, the at the x-axis, we have the velocity gradient or the strain rate, as it says, which is basically the ideal fluid. Uh, here in the y-axis, we have the ideal solid, which is also uh, the y-axis is essentially the shear stress. And in between, we have dilatant, Newtonian, pseudoplastic, biopectic, Bingham plastic, and thixotropic. There are too many names here, too many examples, and too many types of fluids to remember. So uh, for that, I uh, came up with this uh, little uh, mnemonic or a poem or a trick, whatever you might want to call. Uh, the thing about this uh, trick is that it works in the anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so whatever we are going to remember, it's going to start from here, which is the ideal fluid, and eventually go from to dilating, then this, then this, 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 and finally in up to the solid. Uh, one thing uh, is that this uh, particular poem is uh, specific to this particular diagram. You have to make sure that this, the position of these curves are not uh, changed. You have to uh, identify what kind of curve is given here. Please do not get confused if the dilatant has been uh, shifted from this place to this place. In that case, there, there will be changes in uh, the poem. Okay, so the trick that is, is fancy dress. Needs a press. Reality brings too much stress. Fancy dress needs a press. Reality brings too much stress. I think it won't be very difficult for you to remember because it rhymes pretty much uh, pretty well. Uh, so uh, let me just uh, help you relate to this poem with this uh, particular uh, rheogram. So as I said, our uh, uh, trick will start from ideal fluid. So F for fluid, F for fancy, okay. Next we have dilatant, D for dilatant, D for dress. Next we have Newtonian, N for Newtonian, N for needs. Then we have pseudoplastic, P for pseudoplastic, P for press. Then as we move on to the other half of this diagram, uh, we have rheopectic, R for rheopractic, R for reality, B for Bingham plastic, B for brings, T for thixotrophic, and T for too much. And finally, we are ending with solid, so stress. S for solid, S for stress. Just remember this one thing. Whenever we are talking about the extreme points of our rheogram, which is the uh, x-axis or the y-axis, it's always going to be ideal. Okay, the extreme is going to be ideal. But... Uh, Whenever we are going to talk about things in between, they are going to be uh, there are going to be differences. Okay, so yeah, that's it. That's the trick. So fancy dress needs a press. Reality brings too much stress. Now, if we go back to our uh, question here, we have uh, they are asking for ideal fluid. Now, from our trick here, we remember that ideal fluid comes in the uh, x-axis. It's our first word, which is fancy. S for fancy. S for fluid. And uh, from our anti-clockwise direction, it comes in the x-axis here. So ideal fluid will be lying in the x-axis. So P here is our ideal fluid. So P here is our answer. Uh, just to test the rest of the theory that uh, uh, we have came up with, uh, we know that in, y, in case of the y-axis, it's going to be the uh, other extreme of the poem. 
so it will be stress as for stress as for solid so our s here is ideal solid the extreme is always solid and now in case of this and this so our first curve which goes from down to up you can see here it's the second word we have which is the dress so dilatant so our r here is dilatant and in case of, we should be needed a straight line here to represent the newtonian one which has not been given but we have the next one like here you can see this one this is basically our uh, the word press here so press is for p p is for pseudo plastic so our q here is pseudo plastic okay so i hope uh, this uh, trick would help you remember the uh, sequence of the different types of fluids in the rheogram so that is been it thank you very much for watching the video hope to see you in the next videos bye